after traveling for days, the crew from Magical Land of Oz arrives in a remote part of Arnhem Land to hear about an especially clever bird. The black kite. This bird of prey is found on all continents except Antarctica, but only here in the Northern Territory have the kites earned the moniker Firebird. Elders Robert and Norrie Redford are deeply connected to their land and have witnessed how animals use the landscape in ingenious ways. The team wouldn't be able to film the Firebirds or hear their amazing stories without the help of the traditional owners and indigenous rangers. The bird has been seen, but never filmed, picking up burning embers and dropping them in grass to ignite new fire fronts. Sometimes you can see that you pick up that fire to burn another place. I am grabbing me and then fly and then drop them. They're very clever. Robert has no doubt that it does this to flush insects from the burning bush. Fresh baked tucker. And clever bird. Karkain. He loved burning. The firebird is so important to the people here. It's sewn into the rangers' uniforms. But now, the hard bit for the crew, filming the firebird in action. Rangers burn a ring of grass in a buffer around the camera. How's it looking, Mark? That's your safety zone. It's looking better, the bigger it gets. Yeah, that's good, it's ingenious. Then they build a fire front with the crew directly in its path. I'm surrounded by fire in front of me and behind me, but the fire's coming straight towards me now. We've got huge flames now, um, and the idea is we're going to bring the, the hopefully attract those kites in, start catching insects. And sure enough, here come the kites. We've now got probably about 50 kites all around us being attracted by the fire. They are basically hunting all the insects and vertebrates that are trying to flee the heat. They're doing some really cool aerobatic. They move so fast that Mark has trouble keeping the aerial gymnasts in shot. There's so much smoke at the moment, it's really hard to see birds through it. So following them is very tricky. But every so often I get a gap where I can then pick them up. The fire closes in and Mark focuses on the birds while rangers keep directing the fire around him. It was a bit unnerving when the flames suddenly raced towards us. Um, the wind picked up and it just shot really fast in our direction. But the guys here who are controlling it all, they seem pretty relaxed, so it was, I guess there was nothing to worry about, but just something counterintuitive to standing that close to a fire rushing towards you. Meanwhile, to get close-up shots of the insects that these birds are feeding on, there's also an insect wrangler at work. I've caught two so far in probably seven hours. See them? Near them. If I was able to fly, it'd be a lot easier catching these crickets. Aha, I got one. That's only taken seven hours. I've lost them. I must have lost the cricket. Her. 
I think that's two out of four in the bag after seven hours. So. How many do you need? Probably need about 5,000. It takes several days for the team to film the insects and other creatures fleeing the fire to tell the story of the master hunter and its prey. Proving along the way that the term bird brain... Watch out, you're on fire, mate. <laughs> I felt that right in my finger. ...is a slur best reserved for humans, not clever birds. Who have learned to do something that no other animal on Earth has done. Harnessing fire as a hunting strategy. Find the full Magical Land of Oz series on ABC iview.